Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the Weekly Market Report. I'm AJ Monte, and this is a one-year daily candle chart of the Diamonds, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. I'd like to first thank each and every one of you for your interest, especially last week. We had an incredible number of new subscriptions to our trade alert service, and that's because of the success we've had over the past year. And even with 2021 kicking off with a great result so far, our equity traders have had 100% success. We haven't lost on a single trade this year. We have mixed our positions up both on the long side and on the short side for our option traders. We haven't taken a single loss on any of our option trades since we started the service here. And again, thanks to all of you and your responses and your sharing and your liking of the videos. Again, I really appreciate that. Now, as we go into the major markets, I'm going to continue to wave that caution flag. Why? Because we have a step up here. You can see the moving average is still going up. The pullback has not filled this gap just yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this out. I am not changing the stop loss area. I'm just keeping it as is because 80% of the time gaps fill. That may not look like much of a gap, but as I zoom in here, you'll see it's mere pennies. We had a gap up right there. And again, 80% of the time gaps fill. So nothing has changed on the Dow. If we look at the volatility index, you can see that the VIX is still hovering around this support level. That too is staying right where it is. Our equity traders and option traders know that we've taken a long position in the VIX for, again, a simple target of that gap fill. That could very well mean a nine-point rally in the VIX to fill that gap. If you are looking for good ideas with regard to strategy, understand that since the VIX has been created in 1993, 100% of the gaps have filled on the VIX over time because it's an oscillating index. It's not a stock. And again, if you look back at the monthly chart on the VIX, you'll see that we are, again, hovering within this very wide channel with these spikes in volatility occurring periodically and fairly regularly. So as we are on this support level down here, we continue to maintain a long bias position on the VIX, which in turn, for the most part, the VIX is inversely related to the S&P. So if the VIX is bullish, we're going to continue our stance or at least protect against downside movement in the S&P. And this too is going to stay right where it is. I have a two week forecast out on this, so I'm not even going to change that line. I'm just leaving it the way it is because you can see the end target on that is going to be at the end of February, roughly the 25th of the month. Remember, this Monday, the markets are closed for the holiday. We have a shortened trading week next week, and we're going to see how this works out for our trades as well. Now, the queues, interestingly enough, even though the queues have gone up, we have put spreads on this one. Our diagonal calendar put spreads are working out very nicely. It's one of those situations where we're making money on the way up even though we have a put spread on well how in the world can that happen well you might want to study some option theory and understand some of the concepts especially with the thing called vega vega is when we have a volatility change and that helps us gauge which options we want to trade how we want to spread them and again the queues still have an open gap to the downside so while I'm maintaining that line, I'm just moving it out on the calendar, I'm not really changing the price target at all. I'm just moving it on the calendar. And you can see down below, even though we hit a higher high today, look at the CCI down here. That is known as a negative divergence. When Don Lambert first created the CCI, he talked about the negative divergence as being one of the major leading indicators for the market, not just with commodities, but stocks and individual markets alone will pay very close attention to that negative divergence. Now, if we look at the IWM, this is the Russell 2000 index. Again, super extended to the upside, moving that right on over. Right there, we have gaps below the market. 
Again, I'm going to move that right on over, keeping the same exact price target as we had. Notice that we have a drop in volume on the way up. Oscillators are going down. And notice right down here, we have a cross on that CCI. So what does that mean? Trail your stop up. We have a gap down there that's a support level. If you are along anything in the Russell 2000, move your stops up move it up to the most recent support level here or if you want to get a little bit more aggressive with your stop you could place that stop below the 20 period moving average if you are interested in following along with our trading alerts or subscribing to our member base then feel free to click on the links that i have below in the description page i again want to thank you for liking for sharing for subscribing it's what keeps us going it keeps us growing and you're helping a lot of other people spread the word about technical analysis. So have a great long weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. So long.